Good morning everyone and welcome to another cold morning. I am in an area called uh, Murnau and I just came out this morning to explore a little bit uh, hoping to find some uh, let's say uh, isolated trees in the landscape but uh, not to photograph them against the sky but uh, with um, you know from, from, from far away with um, some uh, landscape behind it if I can put it that way. It's a bit difficult to explain, uh, I hope I'll find a shot like that today and then you, you'll see it. But as I was uh, driving around, so first of all it was not um, exactly as uh, I was uh, expecting today because it snowed a bit more than, than expected last night here. So there's not a lot of snow but everything is, uh, is white so it changes the scenery completely from what I was um, thinking of. And as I was walking around, I found uh, I, uh, these uh, these nice trees and the hill behind me, which is, as I said, not not what I was uh, looking for today, but um, it did um, draw my attention. I thought, you know, I'll stop and uh, photograph it, and uh, then I'll move on. Uh, also, there are a couple of la small lakes around here, so I'm gonna go to those as well and see if I, if there's anything interesting there with the uh, with the snowed out trees. Overall, a uh, very nice morning though, and it's, um, as you can see, the light is flat, so I'm not uh, that much uh, under the time pressure. So I have um, the luxury today of enjoying it a bit more than, than the usual sun sunrise. So let's go over there now, uh, to that area there, to see if there is a photograph uh, to be found. I just missed some very nice birds which are flying right in front of me now and would really make this shot much more interesting that I have in mind and they are flying now and I'm sure when I set up the camera they will be gone which is typical isn't it? This is pretty much what I have in mind the tree at the top of the hill and the fence that leads to the tree and I don't know exactly which um, angle I'm going to photograph it from from this side or from the other side of the fence I need to check it. Birds are still flying around, so maybe I will be lucky, who knows. So I found the two photographs that are worth it. It's two different shots. One is from high up with the tree at the top of the frame, and the other one is from down low with the, th with the tree at the also at the lower part of the frame. And they're both interesting, so I'm going to take both of them. And then which one? Then then choose at home. Or in any case, I'll have two. It's really coming down, no? And I may I may have a dog problem. Because there is a dog there which is on its own and it's a bit hostile or is it unfriendly for now but okay with uh, two tripods here I'm not afraid 70 millimeters focal length so so I have to focus at about 15 meters and then everything will be sharp okay let's see what I got it's pretty much what I wanted So this is the second shot here and it's exactly what I wanted with the fence, the tree, again okay, a lot of sky, we'll see how that works out. Yeah this is it, it's not what I had in mind when I came out here today, I was, uh, as I said I was looking for something completely different but when you get uh, some opportunities like that you need to not let them go. As I was expecting the birds are nowhere to be seen as soon as I set up the camera. But you know, that's typical, huh? Some, it's not uh, straightforward to, to get the birds to be where you need them to be at the time you need them to be there, but uh, you know, we, we photograph what we have.
So this is the second location that I spotted when I was driving uh, along and I so I was driving next to this lake you see behind me and I saw a nice tree, a small one uh, which is probably the right edge of the frame uh, on, of your frame and uh, I thought uh, if I could uh, come up here I would be able to photograph it with the water behind the tree and um, some snow at the foreground. This will probably end up being a square photograph and uh, it's the tree, the water behind it, uh, the reeds behind it and nothing else. So it's a nice simple shot that I'm, going, I'm taking now. So the tree, the tree is exactly centered in the frame, uh, top, bottom, left and right. That's why I'm thinking sort of it's going to end up square in the end, the frame. And um, other than that, there is a sort of the, the, this, uh, the water creates a, a stripe in the background and uh, I can just see the other side of the lake at the top part of the frame so it's a nice simple shot as I said. So I'm gonna take this now with a 10 second timer because with a long lens uh, it's very shaky even with the pressure of the button so I need to let it uh, you know settle. The weather forecast did say that it's going that we would have a little bit of sun today, maybe for half an hour, but this turns out to be a very nice day today. Uh, I don't know how much more I'll be able to photograph with uh, this sun, but for now it's a little bit diffused by some clouds, so it's not bad at all. I, I like it. And I'm gonna go over there now to that, well, just a little bit uh, on, on this ridge here. Maybe there is a photograph to be taken of, from, of the lake from up here. So I picked this spot exactly because it gives me a clear view of the lake without uh, obstructions from some trees that are, that are on the other side of the road. And uh, I have some nice cloud in the background over the mountains, in front of the mountains. So it's a, you know, it's a typical landscape shot, it's nothing uh, you know, very innovative, but uh, still it's a nice shot I think. And with this uh, light uh, from, the, from the sun, uh, which is not still not too strong. It's going to change soon, but for now it's not too strong. It's relatively diffused. I think it's going to be a good photograph. So this more or less is what I'm photographing, and uh, uh, with the with the zoom, I'm just getting rid of the trees at the left and the right side of the frame, so that uh, I have a clear view at the lake. I have a nice, also a very bare tree right in the foreground here, which is at the lower part of the photograph. This edge a little bit to the first part of the to the lower part of the frame because other than that it's uh, relatively empty it's uh, just uh, snow but this makes it much more interesting 10 second timer one more time and there we are actually i didn't check the i, I didn't check the shutter speed so let's see what I got now. Oh, it's nice, okay. It's exactly where it should be. I've said in the past, I don't photograph, I, only, I photograph manual when it's, uh, uh, when we have snow because other, I, 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 if I don't, then the camera sort of balances everything and you end up with gray, gray snow instead of white snow. So you always need to overexpose compared to what the camera wants to do when you have uh, snowy scenes.
so I think this is it for today. Uh, two nice photographs or three maybe. And uh, it's getting a bit late, so I'm probably going to start the drive back. If I see something along the way, I may stop again, but I don't think so at this time because the, the sun is really strong now or it's getting strong uh, by the minute. So until the next time, uh, have fun and uh, enjoy yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Looks like I'm ready. So again, till the next video, bye bye.